Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Astro Manny here. You know, just enjoying the view, the beautiful asteroid belt with the sun glancing off of the moon. It's a, it's a beautiful sight. So just sitting here enjoying the view a little bit. Uh, today I was thinking about things to show off and I've done a lot of bounty hunter stuff and flying ships around. Let's do some FPS combat combat a eh? so let's do uh, some bunker missions how about I make a quick video on how to grind bunker rank because we all want to get to the top rank of bunkers right we all want to make some money shoot some things and uh, have a good time doing it I'm gonna first show you the quick and efficient way to do it then I will show you an alternate quick and efficient way to do it on a separate video in the future and then I will show you the most lucrative way to do it the most lucrative way to make money but first we'll just show you how to grind the rep because I think in the beginning it's important to grind out rep instead of making that cash rep then cash that's what's important because the more rep you have the more cash you can make the faster you make that rep and you're in business right so we'll start off here in the Moby Glass, talking a little bit. I'll do a brief just, um, rundown on bunker stuff, right? So, bunker missions are in the Mercenary tab. You have things like provide backup, clear criminals' nests. Uh, on Crusader, you have repel Orison raids. You have guard sites. You have more criminal nests. And you have like destroy narcotics missions. There's also sometimes some actual bounties for specific people, NPC bosses and things. These are higher rank missions. Provide backup is the level one mission and we'll talk about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so, well let's go into the Delphi app real quick. And for Crusader specifically, they have it for, see, see there's Hurston, Crusader, there's um, Art Corp, and Microtech as well. So each planet has their own service for bunker missions whether it's security or bounty hunting but the main thing we're looking at is the security tab here so i like to hang around crusader before i do any of the other ones and work on crusader before i go and i do hurston or microtech or art corp so let's take a brief look real quick and explain a little bit about how bunkers work so you start off at rank zero right and you do an, an, an entry level mission and that gets you to rank one and rank one allows you to do the beginner contract which is provide backup at least here in crusader they have different names in the different planets but they're basically the same mission provide backup means you go to a friendly bunker and you park you go in and you help security guards kill the hostiles that have invaded the bunker we'll talk more about that when we do it back to the rep so the goal is to make it to max rank as fast as possible. That's the goal. So you want to go one, two, three, four, five, and get those big cash money missions, right? So the best way to do that, you get the same amount of rep for completing each mission. So in the beginning, in contract one, and when you're level one, you only have options to provide backup. In Crusader, it's a different name for the other places, but you only get this level one mission so it's a little bit hard to grind in the beginning because it takes five minutes for the mission to respawn after you complete it so we're not going to go over that this is for people that are ranked two and higher okay so you have to be ranked two to do this grind okay so once you re reach rank two you will unlock a second mission so you'll have provide backup and these clear criminal nests okay you'll have these two options provide backup and clear criminal nests and the goal is to just do provide backup, clear criminalness, provide backup, clear criminalness, provide backup, clear criminalness, like that. You know, you got to do it back and back and forth, right? So that's what we're going to show off today. And one is a hostile bunker. The clear criminalness is a hostile bunker, so the turrets will be activated. And the other one will be a friendly bunker. The other note is that you, at least here in Crusader, this one is a clear criminal's nest on a wrecked caterpillar on yellow we don't want to do that one you'll have another option here that is a bunker see garden on daymar this is a bunker so you want to make sure you click the bunker one because the clear 
the rec site is more complicated and can sometimes be glitchy. So you do provide backup, clear criminal nest, bunker. So these are the two missions I'm going to do. This one, clear criminal nest, and provide backup, and I'm going to show you the route. Uh, one thing to note, your clear criminal nest will probably be less money because you'll be a less higher rank. If you're ranked 2, it should be, I think, either 20k or maybe it's 15k, just like provide backup. I'm not 100% sure on that. But the point is here, we're just going to do those two back to back to get our rank from 2 to 4 or 5 as fast as possible. And I'll show you how to quickly do that as fast as possible. So we're going to click provide back. Okay. If the game is working correctly, this is a bit scary because it didn't load right away. When I started this, the server was working. Now it's not. If it doesn't take too long, I'm going to have to end this recording and try again later. But hopefully it works. So we're just going to keep it going for now. Anyways, so I'm doing this in my constellation Aquila. Okay, this is a gunship, right? I'm going to show it off real quick. This is a gunship, right? So the most efficient way, in my opinion, is to take a nice gunship if you have one so that you can blow up the turrets on the hostile bunkers. And I'll show you how I do that. The other option where I'm gonna make a second video is where you can take a medium-sized ship that can fit a ground vehicle and you park outside of the hostile bunkers and then drive up to the hostile bunkers. That's the other option. Those are your two options for grinding out in speed. There's a, obviously a third option where you can park far enough away and run to the hostile bunkers, but that takes a lot of time and is inconvenient. So that's the gist of it, and that's bunkers explained and rep explained. You get a decent amount in the beginning. In the beginning, it's kind of easy to go from one to two. Going from two to three is a little bit rough. Going from three to four is really long, and I think four to five is kind of, you know, okay. So our contract has been accepted. It is going a little slow, so I'm a little bit worried about server uh, server production, server, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> server effectiveness. Hopefully the server can load us in. We don't even know, we don't have the marker yet, so let's look at our mission. This is one way to get to your site faster. P post Krista on selling. So we can look it up. We need to go to Pope Christa, Post Christa on Selen. Even though we don't have the marker, we know where we're going. So, Post Christa on Selen. And off we go. The marker will hopefully pop up by the time we get there. And once the marker's popped up, then hopefully the enemies have spawned. And so this is a little bit of showing how you could even do the bunkers safely on a server that's not running very well. Uh, if the server is running well, then obviously it's faster and more reliable. But even if the server is not running well, a lot of the times you can do these level 1 and level 2 bunkers. As long as it's provide backup and clear criminalness. If you do one of the ones that you have to have waves of enemies and the server's not doing well, then you might have issues there because sometimes the enemy spawns will mess up. But usually if it's a single spawn, provide backup, or a criminal's nest, which you only have to go there and take out 10 people that have already spawned, usually you're okay. So that's the goal of this. Hopefully it all works out well. Um, I'll run through this and show you kind of safe spots to peek your head and things like that and try to get your hostiles as fast as possible, but not risking too much of your life. So, yes. Uh, when the server is acting up like it is, the AI are also probably less, uh, less effective, so you can be less cautious when the server is acting up, if that makes sense, because the AI will be less likely to attack you right away. But when the server is up and running 
and is doing really good, you have to be more cautious because they will fire on you and they will take you out quickly. The speed of this, uh, depending on how cautious you want to be on the bunkers and how much you want to loot afterwards, that's dependent on that. I have already acquired quite a bit of loot and have quite a bit of most guns in the game and have plenty of armor and all that kind of stuff so I don't really spend a lot of time looting I just go in get my kills finish the mission and go on to the next one because I'm on the effectiveness of grinding reputation and that's what I'm working on and that's what I'm showing here to at least show you the effectiveness of, re of grinding reputation so it sees it seems here that the bunker's not even loaded in that means the server is actually doing really bad so this might not work sadly this might not work because the bunker's not rendered in that means there's probably crashed ships here that are not rendered in um let's see we'll wait for it to pop up hopefully things go okay if not then i'll just have to re-record this at a different time um i was just playing you know 10 15 minutes ago before i started the video and the server was running just as well just fine and now all of a sudden it's not. So, you know, that happens. That happens. Um, Xenothreat will be over tomorrow at the time of this recording. At the time of this recording, it is Monday night. But this video won't come out till Thursday-ish. So Xenothreat will be over by then. So hopefully there will be no issues on people running this at that time. Uh, the bunker has spawned in. Uh, the rest of things are popping in again I still don't know hopefully there's no ships that haven't rendered in where I'm going to park if there is we might go boom and then you know maybe we'll keep that as a video <laughs> star citizen it up yeah so let's park Engines. get out and hopefully get through this bunker with no problem. See, at the top there, provide backup. Hostiles 10 out of 10. It seems like that is working. So hopefully the AI have spawned. And again, no issues on that end. And if you're doing this quickly, you can grind rep pretty efficiently. Like I said, if you're doing just provide backup criminals, provide backup criminals. Oh, always make sure that you're stocked. As you see, I'm running low on ammo. The kit that you run for your bunkers is really just preference, whatever you want to do. Um, obviously wearing full heavy armor is helpful. So make sure you're in full heavy armor or pick up full heavy armor from one of the guards down in the bunkers themselves. Gun is preference. I am currently using a custodian because it's the executive custodian so it's got gold and white so it's kind of pretty. It's not my favorite gun to use, but it's just a fancy gun that I currently have, and I'm feeling a bit bougie, so I'm using a bougie gun. And uh, yeah, so my custodian here, uh, let me show that off a little bit. Look at that. The custodian, yep. Look at that. Alright, going into the bunker. I'm not that very good at cinematic, especially in FPS, so I will mostly sit in first person view and not do a whole lot of third person views. As you see, I just kind of move from cover to cover. You see there's a guy right there. The rest of the guards will hopefully have markers above their head to make it more visible that they're guards. Make sure you don't shoot any of the guards, so it's kind of risky taking pot shots at this guy here with the guard around. Uh, okay, so now he's away from the guard, so take him out. Check corners. You always stay behind these guards right here so that's less likely for you to get popped. Some of these covers like this are not very good cover. Things that have holes in them don't really count as cover. So be aware of that. They can, but remember they can shoot through the holes. This game is pretty realistic in that fact. So hiding behind something that has holes is questionable. But as you can see, it's already four out of 10 hostiles. When you do provide backup, the AI, a lot of times, will do a lot of the work for you. So, you don't have to worry too much. And you see, we've got another guy down there. Uh, one recommendation is a silencer on your gun. That can help out a lot. Um, again, it's preference. If you don't have a silencer on your gun, it just alerts the enemies to your fire. 
and it kind of makes them funnel to you. So sometimes not having a silencer can be effective because you get the enemies to come to you. But with using a silencer, it means you can kind of fire and the enemies just don't even know that you're firing. So here's some more enemies. Take them out there. Boom, boom. There's another guy here. When you get down to the last couple of guys, they t uh, tend to have markers over their head. So that's really helpful on finding the last couple of guys. He's kind of taking a minute to die. Uh, he's in the way of me traveling. Gotta be careful to take out this last guy because he's hiding behind cover. But other than that, it should be no problem. Wait for him to pop his head. Wait for him to pop his head or go around. Any of the two. Why? For some reason... Oh, I was holding my breath. Because <laughs> I was holding shift. Alright, just go like that. Boom. He's dead. A little bit of hip fire. And again, I'm pretty set on loot. So I kind of just do a quick glance around the bunkers as I'm running out. Or running in. But I just take a quick glance and go, oh, is there loot here? Is there loot here? No. Sometimes there's a loot up there on that box there. There's usually loot right here. No loot there. There's loot right here. That's a medical loot. Um, it will have med pens and things like that. So you can grab those and throw those in your backpack and stuff like that. There's another med loot. There's usually some loot there. Uh, sometimes there's loot on this forklift over here at this layout of it. You know, sometimes there's loot over here. There is loot over here, actually. As you see, there's a green box. So this means you get tiger claws and sometimes multi-tools and stuff. So there's that. I Here's my backpack, by the way. I, I always carry extra clips on me. Uh, whatever gun you're using, take a big stack of clips of whatever gun you're using and bring some drinks so that you don't have to go back to the spaceport to continue your grind. If you have drinks on you, you just continue your grind. You don't even have to worry about running out of food or water. You just keep going. See, here's another place that loot can spawn. Unfortunately, there was no red box loot, so we didn't get any fancy guns. But hey, whatever. If the servers are not working well, it's best to pick your next mission as fast as possible. So. Honestly, I should have already picked it, but I didn't, so that's a little mess up on me. You see here, so I'm going to pick the criminal, the criminal's nest, and I'm going to accept that. This one is on Daymar TPF. So if the mission doesn't pop up right away, I know that it's on Daymar TPF. Okay? So I'm going to put my gun away. I like to run faster and all of that. And how long did that bunker take? That, that bunker itself took no time at all, right? Took no time at all. Sometimes the parking and the flying can be a little bit uh, time consuming, but the bunker itself really took no time at all. Quick, easy, no problems. You had AI there to help you provide backup. The defending site stuff where you have the AI on your side are relatively risk free. I say relatively because obviously you can still get caught out, you can still get shot, um, you can always get screwed over by some kind of glitch or or unfortunate event you know there's it's not always perfect sunshines and rainbows so you still have to be careful but you got a little bit of support so as you can see the mission the next mission is up and going so it seems the server i am on has recovered that's another thing to kind of take uh take into consideration is you know, you, you might have server problems, but just stick it out a little bit and the server might recover because 30Ks are very rare currently in the game. So usually servers recover and become playable, at least somewhat playable again. Not fully functional, and I'm not saying every server is going to become perfect again. But stick it out a little bit and maybe things will become functionable to a certain extent. So the next one we're going to here on Daymar is a hostile bunker. This is a clear criminal's nest. I'm not sure exactly if they're all called cleared criminal nests on all the different planets and systems, but at least here in Crusader they're called clear criminal nests and make sure you don't pick the yellow caterpillar one. There will always be two. There will always be a yellow caterpillar wreck and a regular bunker. And the yellow caterpillar wreck is fun. Don't get me wrong, but it likes to glitch out a lot, and it's kind of inconvenient. So when you're trying to just grind rep, you want to do provide backup clear criminal net.
this. At least in Crusader, like I said at other places, to provide backup will be called something different. This is a hostile bunker, right? So in this factor of what I'm showing, you need to be efficient. You have to fly in in a gunship or something. It doesn't have to be a gunship. It could be just anything that could tank the turrets, okay? Because there's going to be turrets at the bunker, and I'll show you when I get there. Set up gimbal. Um, I prefer to set most of my shields to the front so I could just tank the turrets. I'm not going to do multiple flybys and kill the turrets at different times. I'm just going to show up, stand in front of the turrets, and kill them all. My shields will have plenty of health to survive the barrage of laser bullets that they send at me. Uh, plenty of ships can handle this, whether it's a Corsair, a Connie, or a Redeemer. Um, I do this in my Vanguard Sentinel, so you could do it in heavy fighters that have decent shields. Um, you can do it in anything that's tanky, because the, sh the, the turrets themselves are not very tanky themselves, so you just have to make sure that you can survive the hits in that case, and you should be fine. So again, I just showed the raw fo footage, I'll show you the time that it takes me to do things. I talked quite a bit in the beginning, so if you take out the fact that I did an intro to show you guys a little bit how uh, bunkers work and how the reputation system works a little bit, then the time that we're doing this in is really good timing, it's even with the little hiccup that the mission wasn't even accepting in the beginning. So again, the server's not doing the greatest, so the turrets have not spawned in yet. That does not mean to go ahead and land. This is a great example, actually. I'm glad the server is not being perfect because it is not okay to land. You have to wait till the turret spawns. See, they're spawning in. You can lock onto the turrets. If you have gimbal, it helps because you can easily destroy the turrets with gimbals. If you don't have gimbals, then, you know, just still lock on and shoot at them with your with your bullets. Like I said, I do this in my Vanguard Sentinel all the time, and that does not have gimbal. And so I have no problem doing this in my Vanguard Sentinel. Alright, so those are two turrets down. There's usually four turrets. So there's going to be one that spawns right here. Right where I'm looking at. This right here. So we got to wait for him to spawn. And there's usually one that spawns in the back. But some bunkers don't have a back turret spawn. But this one should. So we're going to wait till this left one spawns before we land. At least. And turrets respawn times at least for me have been consistently good to where you could spend 20 minutes in the bunker and not worry about turrets respawning so that part is perfectly fine too so this is unfortunate this is just server lag man like the the this is just the way the servers are if the server was going great this would go a lot faster but like i said it's kind of good to show the state that the game actually is in and a lot of the times this is what you have to deal with uh, when I grind and it's like this, I'm okay with it because it's not too bad. Like, I, I can live with this much lag. If it's any worse than this, then it's not, it's not okay. You might as well just try later and go do some cargo running. By the way, check out those cargo run missions I've been doing. If your server's completely broken, the terminals are probably still working. So go run some cargo runs. Uh, speaking of that, while we're waiting here for a turret to spawn, Please support my video in any way you can. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, all those things. Share my video where you can. I appreciate it all. I love you guys, and I hope we can make this community grow and have a good time. Um, so the turret still hasn't spawned. That's concerning. Um, I don't know what the deal is. It might not spawn. So at this point, at this point, I'm kind of going, okay, the turret's not going to spawn. That's unfortunate. What I can do is I can go ahead and I can land, sure. But I'm gonna land and make sure that I'm on, oh, you see that platform in the back to my right, or yeah, to the right of the screen? That's another turret spawn. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna land, but I'm gonna kinda try to make it where that turret will not see me if it were to spawn. So that turret cannot fire upon me if I spawn if it spawns. Problem is, is there's a turret right there on that platform 
Uh, I, I, I wish I could like point it out, but there's one there, and that one can definitely fire upon me. So make sure to leave your shields full. Leave your shields on. Turn off engines. And go risk it for the biscuit, right? Again, hopefully your server is running well enough to where the turrets spawn. And you just lay into them, kill them, and you're done. Uh, in this case, that did not happen for me. Um, once again, always put your ramp back up. I don't because I am a scumbag. But in reality, you should. Okay, so you should always pull your ramp back up. My ramp has gone into the ground and has ruined my video. This might be salvageable. Let's go finish the mission. <laughs> the point of this is to show you how efficient you can do the missions. Don't mind the ship doing a complete flip. That never happened. The point is you go back and forth between provide backup and criminal nest and you do them quickly and you grind that, uh, that bunker rank and this is how you do it. If your ship does a flip, then oh well, you know, uh, call for backup, have someone come get you. Alt F4, whichever you're feeling for. If, I mean, I prefer the immersion myself, so I, I will call somebody to pick me up. Uh, check my boxes. And remember, this is a hostile bunker, so there are no AI security guards. There are only hostile enemies. So you're on your own. So make sure you pick your corners. Make sure you keep your, your head on a swivel. Make sure you don't get cut off reloading and out of ammo make sure you run the walls so you don't have any issues there <clears throat> looks like the front or the top floor is cleared so i'm gonna start heading downstairs meanwhile i'm looking for boxes on the sides another enemy down another enemy down i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna use my mag so that i can reload I like to use my whole mag so I don't have any leftover bullets and clips because that can be annoying. Another enemy down. Just take it nice and easy. No reason to overextend and push yourself too much. There's only one guy left, right? So where can he be? Again, using... Checking behind you even in the elevator, making sure if the last enemy has been located. Boom. Done. That easy. Again, checking for boxes. Sometimes boxes spawn here. So you look here, boom, there's a box, a nice red box. I'm glad I got to show that off. Hey, look, check this out. What a box, hallelujah. There's a missile launcher, a scalpel rifle. Holy cow, on screen, cow, on fucking screen. Scalpel rifle acquired. I've never seen it in this game in my life and I found it while I'm recording and making a how-to video. Holy cow. There's also a whole missile launcher um, Which I just I just sent off into oblivion. Oh No, 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 it's still there. Okay Okay, okay, hold on missile launcher is acting up Um what am I going to do? I guess I'm going to come back for the missile launcher. Uh, what's going on here? I'm... The hand thing's in the way. That's what's going on. Okay. The hand thing's in the way. Okay. So, I'm going to take these two sniper rifles. By the way, this, this other sniper rifle is the... Azikov sniper rifle, which is fantastic. Uh, a fantastic sniper rifle as well. It's a laser sniper rifle that's bolt action. Really cool sniper rifle. Um, heck, you know what? Let me fire these guys for you real quick. Hold on, let me, let me just fire these guys for you real quick because these are fantastic guns, okay? So this, there's my gun on the ground there, my gold gun. This is the scalpel, right? This fires two bullets at once. It's a sniper rifle that shoots two bullets at once. Look at that. 
That's gorgeous. That's amazing. I've never seen this sniper rifle in person. This one is a bolt action laser rifle. See that? It's it's pretty cool. It's not the strongest. It's just really cool. That's amazing. I can't believe I found these bad boys. All right. So I, I don't want to lose my executive edition custodian here because it's my bougie guy. Uh, the missile launcher, I already have two missile launchers, so I'm leaving that one behind just in case something bad happens. But that's it. That's the end of this video, pretty much. You just do it back to back. Hold on, I'm going to drop my gun again, because I'm going to show you my, my uh, Moby Glass. So, by the time you complete that, provide backup is up again, right? So then you pick up provide backup again, and then when you complete that provide backup, your clear criminal nest should be back up again. This is not the correct one. This is the wrecked yellow site. So the clear criminal nest that I'm doing right now that I'm still currently inside has not popped back up yet. So by the time I'm done with provide backup, it will be back up and you just do that loop and boom, you got a uh, security bunker reputation going up and sooner or later you'll be at five in no time. I, I, don't, I don't mean no time because it does take quite a grind because I'm not there yet as you can see. But you know, It'll happen. And that's that, guys. Uh, I will... I'm going to do my outro here. And um, remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all those things. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, please hit me up in any way you can. Instagram and Twitch down below. Uh, we just want to build a beautiful community and have a good time playing Star Citizen. And with the occasional other games sprinkled in. I uh, appreciate your guys' support. This is going to be Astro Manny sa signing off, but I'm going to try to figure out a way to get into my Andromeda. And I'm going to maybe leave that in a video, maybe cut it out, but I'm just going to sign off right now and uh, wish you guys a wonderful day and adios. All right, well, that was my outro. And now I'm going to continue trying to figure out this situation because I got some really good guns right so I don't want to lose those obviously I could call for backup or I could figure out a way in um, to be honest it's looking like especially since I got good guns I'm gonna have to call for backup or alt f4 and just keep the two guns that are on my back but, like I said, we're going to give it a shot here. We're going to give it a shot. If I die, then I'll just come and pick up my, my, my stuff later, right? So, the question is, how do I want to do this? I've gotten onto my ship, which is impressive enough, right? that happened whatever just happened happened okay uh, I was thinking the airlock right that was my initial thought here but the airlocks way over there poor gore has been trying to get a rescue beacon for quite a while so the airlock is over here right Well, all right, so we got the airlock open. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Nope, 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 that didn't work. We got the airlock open. You know what? That's our dis disposable gun, because to be honest, I got quite a few of those bougie guns. These are unmovable objects, aren't they? All this is unmovable objects, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. Alright. Um, I got one more idea.
Boom. Bang. Honestly, I'll probably split these two videos into separate. But. Okay. So here's the cargo bay, right? If only. Okay. So, I might die doing this. The thought process of this, the thought processes of this is if I can get in the ship, I could take off in the opposite direction, right? Uh, gravity, don't kill me. Boom. Wow. That was interesting. Okay. So we're now on the constellation. Okay. I could actually go get you know what no, no no it's better to it's better to try to fly it's better to try to fly and blow up now than to go get the gun come back and then blow up completely so I'm gonna put my throwaway gun in the ship because I could always make another custodian the scalpel is what we need to bring home I don't know which way is which I th think this is the way to the bridge I could be wrong I was wrong I'm always wrong okay so we're on the ship it is completely upside down but my thought process is if I can get in, turn the ship on, right? Turn the ship on and don't hit space bar, hit control or whatever your thing is to boost up, upside down. Holy cows! We're okay. We're okay, ladies and gents. We're okay. Oh, uh, did I just put my landing gear away? Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. The question is, do I go back out the way I, I did last time? I don't know why the elevator went in the ground. It seems flat ground there, you know? We're just going to risk it for the biscuit because we kind of want that missile launcher. Engines. That's good money we can go sell to people. So we want that missile launcher. But, wow. Talk about a recovery, eh? <laughs> I don't know why. I just. I'm not even Canadian. I just like to say hey. Alright? Hey. <laughs> I take the death trap of an elevator that got us into the situation in the first place. But it seems fine. Everything is fine. We're gonna go back, get the missile launcher, and everything is fine. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Might as well drop off the other guns now, knowing that the ship is safe, right? Let's put back on the, uh... Put back on the custodian, just in case for some reason there's enemies that respawn or anything down there. Again, sorry for the extended clip, but this was just a hilarious situation, and I saved it. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. That was exciting. Oh no. Oh no, after all that, don't do this to me, elevator. Don't glitch me out, elevator, please don't. Okay. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. I'm just gonna jump off. Double track. Make 
sure there's no boxes. No boxes. Let's pull out the gun just in case. I don't think there's anybody. Do you remember where the box is? I mean, it was downstairs, wasn't it? I believe so. I believe it was downstairs right here. Yep, there it is. All right, so we're gonna loot up our box, grab our missile launcher, beautiful days, and then uh, we'll take a gallant rifle, because why not? We could just take that P4, but P4s are a dime a dozen, aren't they? All right. Well, now we'll be ending the video completely. Whether this is an adaptation to the bunker video, or these will be two separate videos, I don't know. Um, uh, again, not big on editing, but this is, I could just cut the videos and, and do them separately. You'll still get to see all the raw footage and everything that happened in the time frame that it happened. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's gonna be it. Um, I'm home free, guys, I'm home free. Remember to loot, provide backup criminal's nest, get that bunker rank up and going. Uh, it's 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 not too bad, it's pretty easy. You get it done, um, you start doing the higher level bunkers, those will have waves. In the future, I will show you a good farm to make money doing the higher level bunkers. And in time, we will all be millionaires. But on that note, once again, this is Astro Manny signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day, and adios.